and we are still on the and we are still on the chapter repentance. This is just a uh, part of the the chapter that we are going to share today. Uh, by the end of our lesson today, we need to answer some questions which are there for us to understand. There are these three questions which we need to answer by the end of this uh, lesson. Can we stand before the Lord before we first repent? Is repentance to be made an obstacle between the sinner and the savior? And must the sinner wait till he has repented before he can come to Jesus? These are the three questions that we need to look into today as we are uh, sharing our passage. Uh, but let me uh, explain these two things, uh, the truth about repentance as a, in the steps to Christ. The first point is repentance prepares for the forgiveness of the, of the sins. And also repentance does precede the forgiveness of sin. For it is the only, it is only the broken and uh, contrite hearts that will feel the need for the savior. In most cases, uh, we fail to say, because maybe we have sinned, or maybe we try to repent, but we don't feel like uh, satisfied ourselves to say we have been forgiven, or we always think and feel that our sins, maybe it's a hindrance between us and our savior. In such kind of situations, uh, we, look at uh, repentance as a, an obstacle uh, with our God. But with these questions uh, that we want to, to understand today, we'll, uh, we'll see that yes, repentance, it prepares us uh, for our sins uh, to be forgiven. And uh, the Bible also on Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, it says, uh, come unto me all that labor and are heavy burden, are heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. The Bible is trying to teach us, it's not trying to teach us that sinners must be repent before we can come meet our savior. But it's, uh, it's encouraging us to say, even though we are sinners, even though we have done so many bad things, but uh, our Christ is there with his open uh, hands, as though we are sinners. And the, the spirit of prophecy uh, through uh, steps to Christ, this is what is saying about repentance. It is the virtue that goes forth from Christ, that leads to genuine repentance. We can no more repent without the spirit of Christ to awaken the conscience that we can be pardoned without Christ. Christ is the source of every right impulse. He is the only one that can implant in the heart, enmity against sin. Every desire for a truth and purity, every conviction of our own sinfulness is an evidence that his spirit is moving upon our hearts. Uh, Sister White is trying to give us a uh, a conviction about to say whenever we repent our sins, it's really something that helps us uh, for, for God to pardon our sins. But it's only Christ who understand or who can pardon our sins. For that, it's not for us to, to, to be 
to have that burden to fail to, to come to Christ because we, are, we haven't repented. But Jesus is there, is waiting for us with our sins so that whenever we come to him with our heavy laden, is going to uh, pardon our sins and we'll be there with him. Uh, we need to understand that sin is there. And the Bible says there is no one, not even one, who is righteous. So if we wait for us to be righteous, to be close to God, that means no one will be, will be in touch or whatever that we do will be far away from what Christ wants us to be. But with uh, our theophe lags, uh, we are there to go to Christ, is going to accept us and will make us pure. Uh, and our purity as it is, uh, is th only through Christ. But we need to uh, to ask the Holy Spirit to, to be with us and uh, to guide us in whatever that we do so that we understand. Because sometimes they, uh, we reach a certain point that we feel that maybe our sins are even too much that even God can hear from us. But uh, if we ask the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, God the Father will forgive our sins and will pardon us. May, let, maybe let me invite uh, some of the comments and the, uh, anything that we got from uh, this passage as maybe we went through because this chapter, we are just continuing from what uh, we started from. Brother Vikas, maybe you have something to add. Well, um, I'm just thinking in, in context, um, we are continuing from last week's lesson where we saw a contrast between true repentance and false repentance. And the false repentance was um, the one that shows sorrow for the consequences of our sins, whereas the true repentance shows sorrow for the sin itself. Mm. So this, this section starts off by saying that this kind of repentance, that means the true repentance, mm. is beyond our reach, beyond the reach of our own power to accomplish. Mm. So in, in other words, it's not within, within human nature, or with, within our human, um, natural human um, power to to actually <laughs> feel sorry for sin itself, mm. and we discussed last time that it means it means that even e even if you were hundred percent sure that you could sin and never um, have to suffer the consequences for it, mm. if you never have to, if you never get punished for it, mm. you would still feel sorry. And that's the kind of repentance we're talking about. And it says here where it's impossible for us to do that on our own. It comes only from Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and so that shows to me um, how far the grace of God really extends. Mm -hmm. The very thing we need to receive forgiveness and, and, um, and to be saved, Christ also provides that to us. And I, and I think that's just, um, it's hard for me to comprehend actually, but... <laughs> It's just something that really strikes strikes me um, as as um, profound. Mm. Thank you so much, Brother Vikas. Anyone on Zoom wants maybe to add something? Yes, um, the 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 part that uh, uh, is in yellow in 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 blue here it says it is only. Uh, one that can implant in the heart in iniquity against sin. It is Jesus. Yes. And that part is from the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 3 and the verse 5, uh, the mm. verse 15. It is when God said to um, Satan that I will put enmity between you and the woman and between mm. your seed and their seed. Uh mm. He shall bruise your, your head and you shall bruise his heel. It is when the first time when God said, humanity cannot say no to Satan and humanity will have the same tendency and same love and same, uh, let me say, sin as he, he, he likes it. 
but it is mm. God himself that will put in between us and Satan. And it is that it is the spirit of God that will separate us from, from, from Satan, from the love of, of this world. And I like especially uh, the part that is on top here. It says, uh, uh, this, that this one on top, it says, but must the sinner wait till he has repented before he can come to Jesus? Sometimes mm. people think, and, and, and that is my, the challenge of my father. My father mm. has not yet accepted to be baptized. And he said, the reason is I want to, to get out of, 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 of uh, a drinking first before I can give myself to Jesus. You see, mm. and, and it is the, the, the wrong decision of a lot of people because they think it is only when they, they live completely sin that they will give themselves to Jesus as if repentance is between us and Jesus. And that's why the, the book is saying is repentance to be made an obstacle between the sinner mm -hmm. and the savior. Mm -hmm. So, which means, shall we wait to completely repent before we come to Jesus? Or we come to mm -hmm. Jesus first and it is him who is helping us to repent. So, Today's lesson is, is, is teaching us that we don't need to repent before we come to Jesus. It is when we come to Jesus that Jesus will, come, will transform our heart to be repenting. And he will give us the power to, to turn back to him. Which means then we don't need to, to be completely perfect before we come to Jesus. It is Jesus who will make us uh, uh, repenting sinners. So what we just need to do is to accept to come to him. He will give us the strength. He will give us the new heart. He will give us everything. What we just need is the willingness to do so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, in, other, in other words, uh, God wants us to come as we are. Is not against us, but is against the sin in us. So it's a, I also feel that it's a, it's a great controversy. We are just the battlefield. So we cannot be uh, put aside just because of sin, but we need to come as we are and the Holy Spirit will try, will do its best with the Christ to remove sin from us. The sin that we have, God will deal with it. God doesn't want to deal with us, but he wants to deal with the sin. But if the sin is with us, we need to come with the sin at, as it is, and God will deal with it. Uh, thank you so much for our participation. Thank you so much for the contributions that we have made. Uh, we'll uh, ask the Lord to continue to open our mind and the, to interpret the word from his spirit of prophecy. Amen. Brother Vikas, you can pray for us in closing. Amen. Our Father in heaven, um, We, we just come to you this evening and, and we stand in, in awe and uh, we're truly grateful um, for, for the greatness of your grace. Um, how far you have really reached down to reach us and to save us from our sins. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for um, for the strength you provide through Jesus for us um, to reach that repentance, to, to have true repentance. Father, um, may you give us desire, a desire for truth and purity and give us a conviction of our own sinfulness. Mm. Grant us an outpouring of your Holy Spirit um, to do this for us. And give us also the strength, Lord, to um, 
to save us from that condition, to save us from our sins. Um, Lord, if sin drives a, an obstacle between us and our Savior, you've, you've provided the means to remove that. And, um, and, and when we come to you, we want to have that barrier removed. We, we want to, to be um, reunited um, with our Creator. Lord, teach us how, teach us how to walk with you um, on this earth so that when Jesus comes, um, we will just be continuing our journey, our relationship. We'll be comfortable in heaven. We'll be comfortable in the presence of God. Um, Lord, help us not to, to, to cherish any known sins, mm -hmm. but to bring everything to your throne of grace to ask for forgiveness um, and to give ourselves wholeheartedly to you. Mm -hmm. Help us to be, to live a surrendered life, mm -hmm. to be humble and um, to be obedient. Lord, help us to um, just come and make your home in our hearts and learn and live out your life within us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we might be living and, and walking um, testimonies of, of what your grace can do in the life of a, a repentant believer. Lord, in the prayer for, for all of us that are listening. And I pray that we would um, recommit ourselves to you and, and make this our own private prayers as well. Every day to, to have a renewed spirit of, of repentance. Mm -hmm. To walk in repentance, Lord. And um, and to lean totally on Jesus for um, for all our for all our needs, Amen. Because you have promised that you have given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Lord, I pray that this will be a reality in our lives, and we would grasp, we would take a hold of it by faith, um, that we would not doubt, and that we would be courageous, you know, um, and bold in our in our faith amen mm. amen amen thank you so much thank you